Retain, gang. What's popping, man? So, I want you guys to pay attention to what's going on right now. As a matter of fact, don't pay attention. But I want you to be aware. All right? We don't want to pay attention to the distractions because the distractions are meant to siphon our energy. All right? So, you're paying attention, which means you're giving your energy away to something. All right? Before we go any further, guys, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure that you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss none of this fire. All right. I have a 30 day semen retention course that I created for newbies and advanced people on this journey. Um, I believe there's techniques each and every day that's highlighted that can help you out no matter how far along you are. OK, if you join the Retain Gang community, you get the course for free along with many other things. Um, weekly calls and discussions and also some other perks as well. All right. Invest in yourself. But, um, you know, there's a lot of distractions being thrown at us right now. You know, especially if you live in the States, man, you just seeing all this stuff going on with, you know, um, the allegations, these celebrities. And one thing I do is I sit back and I, I analyze, all right, if, all this stuff is going on right now. What is the purpose? What is the reason? All right. Why? You know, all these deaths that's happening all of a sudden. People just dropping like flies. Right. And I ask myself, what is the reason for all this right now? <laughs> I sit back and I ask myself, what is the reason for this? Right. Because there's always something that's happening that's trying to take your attention away from you. You know, and that's one thing you guys have to learn to stop doing is stop taking your attention away from yourself. OK, you're letting your energy leak out too much. You got all these little holes in your aura field and your energy's leaking through. This is why I always talk about semen retention so much, because a lot of you guys, you got to close up that valve first. That's the main valve you got to close up. You know, your energy is just falling through, but you still have these leaks that you need to plug up all throughout your aura field. Right. And your energy gets leaked through your thoughts. Your energy gets leaked through what you focus on, what you consume, who you allow in your circle. There's many ways to steal your energy. Right, guys. So we got to plug them holes up. As soon as you focus on something, that's where you direct all of your aura, all of your currency to. All right, so we got to learn how to shift our, our, our thoughts, our energy to what's going to give us something back. You know, if like if I'm in the stock market, I'm, I'm you know, I got stocks. I'm not going to invest in something that's going to make me lose. I'm trying to gain a profit, right? That's the goal. I'm trying to make this money. So you need to invest your energy into something that's going to give you profit. A lot of these distractions, you don't get a profit from it. Guys on receiving retention, when you're watching that corn, it's not giving you anything in return. It's not a good investment. All right. Invest in knowledge, self-knowledge. Right. That's that's what the distraction is, is trying to do is stop you from having knowledge yourself, learning yourself. Right. The key is love. Everything you do should be with love. I love myself. So I'm going to stop releasing my energy so much. I love myself, so I'm not going to let anything distract me from showing me that I have true love. I'm not going to let anything distract me from that. Self-care. With everything that's going on right now, notice it's all, it's all negative. The energy is negative, right? With all this negative energy, you start to soak it up, right? And then you start having negative thoughts about yourself. This is when you lose that self-love. Right. I, you guys notice, man, like if you watching something negative. Right. Monitor your thoughts. Right. This is my homework for you guys. Monitor your thoughts and and realize how you start thinking about yourself, how you start talking to yourself when you are around negative people. You watching negative content, whatever the case might be. All right. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Some of y'all probably already know. How do you start feeling after you watch something negative? You know what I'm saying? It starts to trickle down into your self-esteem, your confidence. You're like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, I, I was just feeling good. Like, I don't, I don't hate myself. I love myself. I don't, 
I don't have low confidence. Where's this coming from? This is the spiritual war that we always talk about. I gotta understand the revolution should not be televised, right? It's spiritual, it's something that you can't see with the physical, but it affects us every single day. You know, when, when you start to wake up, you realize, the first thing you, you realize when you wake up is you start to see everything around you for what it really is. All the snakes around you. You know, the first thing we start doing, the first thing I did was I changed my diet. I realized, man, the, the food I'm putting into my body is, is, is unaliving me, it's hurting me. I switched that up. I realized a lot of things that I gave my energy to was unaliving me, was stressing me out, putting me at dis-ease, you know? So that's one of the things you realize is that, man, everything around you is a distraction to make you hate yourself. That's why a lot of us have depression because we hate ourselves, but it's not you, it's the things around you that's putting those thoughts into your head, that's giving you that frequency. So this is why we gotta have knowledge of self. You gotta sit with yourself every day and meditate. You know, meditate, meditate, meditate as long as you have to until you get those thoughts out your head. This is what we're supposed to do. You're supposed to close your eyes and shut off everything that's in the world. Block your senses out, right? And go back into zero point, which is you. Don't let nobody tell you any different. You with yourself 24 seven, since the day you were born, you always had that voice in your head. Before you read a book, before you knew anything about religion, you had that voice in your head. That's, who, that's, that's you, that's the source, that's the most high. It's always been with you. You didn't need nobody to teach you that. You don't need anybody to show you how to be righteous. You don't need nobody to show you how to find your purpose. It's already in you. It's in your essence. You were programmed to already know what you're supposed to do when you get here. Everything that you encounter in this world is trying to stop you from that. Right? You know, our imagination is powerful. And, and realize, you know, I'm a Pisces, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I used to always be in my head I used to create my own reality in my head. Y'all already know from my Pisces, y'all let me know if y'all go into y'all little fantasy world, right? Where you can create whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And I was always told growing up that, you know, that's make believe and you shouldn't focus on that. You shouldn't live in a fantasy world. And that was the program stopping me from tapping into my true power. But that's false, that's your power. Your power is your imagination, creating your world within your head first. But it's the distractions that take us away from our true power, and it starts at a young age. Start telling us, you know, stop focusing on all that, all that stuff. You need to be a realist. You need to focus on what's in front of you, what's real. And you start to get too much logical, and now you done lost your power. Now everybody walking around miserable. This is an illusion, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you shouldn't, you know, be real with yourself. We all got to survive while we're here, but understand that you can create what you want too. So I say that to say this, man, all these distractions is to stop you from tapping into that power. To make you feel like you don't have any power, to make you feel like, you know, all is lost. This is why they throw tragedy after tragedy on this, man, to lower your frequency and to keep you locked down into the 3D into your lower self. Nah, man. In the midst of chaos, you have to learn how to be zen, be calm, be yourself. This is the most important time for you to be yourself. You be yourself by standing 10 toes down on your purpose. You find your purpose through meditation, through asking, through listening to that voice within your head. All right? So I want you guys, man, to keep your energy, your frequency high right now. All right, make sure you're drinking your water. Make sure you're eating your fruits. Make sure you are affirming yourself with positivity, okay, every single day. Doing your breathing exercises, getting out to nature. Double up on all your spiritual work. If you let yourself get complacent for too long, that's when they latch on to you. 
All right, that negative energy gonna latch on to you, man, and you gotta shake it off. All right, don't let it get to you in the first place. All right, so put in place, um, you know, a, a, a safeguard for yourself. Whenever you feel like you're getting negative thoughts, man, throw them negative thoughts out. Gather up all the negativity. I picture all the negativity in every muscle, every fiber in my body. I picture it coming into one focal point, right? Like a, almost like a spirit bomb. I build it all the way up and then I release it. I picture myself releasing any blocks, any negativity I have within me, releasing it as I exhale. Do it over and over again until you get all that out your system, right? My professor used to always say, man, do it a thousand times. If you don't get it the first time, do it over and over and over again until it works. Don't stop until you get the results that you want, that you need. Okay? Remember, you're coming into your true power now. As an individual, as a soul. Things are changing. It's shifting right now. Okay? All this stuff that you see is, is happening is not for just by chance. It's not a coincidence. You got to stop thinking that everything just happens just because. No. Things are changing, man, because people are changing. We're, we're evolving. A lot of us are, you know? So, you know, this is why they call it the information age. Information is everywhere now. And it's, it's a time for you to gain knowledge. This is the time where you're supposed to gain the most knowledge of everything around you and yourself. All right, so, you know, don't don't allow your chance or this time to slip past you, you know? Stay on top of your game, man, and have no fear. Everything's going to work out for you. Just don't have any fear. Don't let that creep up inside your, your aura, into your space, all right? Because that's another trick. There's no such thing as fear, right? Fear is just not knowing what's going to happen, right? Not not being knowledgeable of the unknown, what you don't know. That's it, the darkness. But walk into that darkness, right? Like Psalms say, as I walk through the valley of shadow and death, I fear no evil because thou art with me. Thou art with you, which is inside of you. The most high, the source is always with you. Your guardians, they're always with you. So you don't have anything to fear. All right, man. So I want y'all to tap in and really take heed to that message, right? I hope it can resonate with you. Like I said, guys, if you need to speak with me, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. Check out the 30-Day Semen Retention course. This is going to help you out, man, on your spiritual journey, help you to harness your energy, plug up them leaks so that you can become the best version of yourself. All right? And check out the Retain Gang community if you want to be a part of a community, a soul tribe that's going to help you out as well. All right? So with that being said, peace, love, and abundance, and I'm out.